Just got all my tech for Duke, so might as well do an unboxing. All right, so I just picked this up and haven't really looked through it at all. I know there's an iPad in my laptop. I knew that was gonna be there, and then someone in the group message had said there was a face shield, so I know that's there. Um, he talked about a locker combo or something like that, so there might be some more surprises, but we'll see what there is. Okay, so this is a configuration guide of um, how to set up the laptop and stuff like that. Microsoft Office, configuring email, um, hard drive backup, all that kind of stuff. Set up your iPad, um, warranty. You have a four year warranty on the PC. Um, they can facilitate their repair. Um, iPad comes with Apple's one year warranty that only covers defects not caused by damage. You have 60 days to add Apple Care Plus, which helps cover instances of physical damage, it extends the warranty to two years. That's $59. So I guess I gotta decide on that, but we'll see. So got an iPad. This says 128 gig, seventh generation Wi-Fi, um, which apparently is slightly disappointing as far as with the Apple Pencil, which we had to buy, so I bought that and I have that here. Um, this is, I guess, like the older generation of the iPad Pencil, Apple Pencil, um, and they didn't give us, I guess, the newer generation that, um, we could actually uh, use the newest Apple Pencil with it. So I have to get the old version Apple Pencil to use with my old new iPad. Um, I'm curious what this costs. I'll throw that up on the screen now. It costs that much, which probably isn't that much and probably is a little bit disappointing for an $8,400 tech fee over four years that I'll be paying. Um, but that's just me being bitter. And so then we got a ooh now that's actually exciting a two terabyte backup drive i'm actually super excited about that um because i've always meant to get one of those i've got a uh two terabyte disc in the uh that i use as my backup inside of my workstation but always good to have more storage and good to have one that's external so that's exciting i'll put up a price of how much this is at least as far as i can tell and then we've got the Mighty Face Shield. And that goes with this guy. Clips right in there, so that's fun. If we can do that elegantly without breaking it. So that's nice. one more piece for that um, okay so we got a case for the iPad um, which I actually do like UAG um, is it like urban armor guard or something like that they have it stand for um, so that's nice nice to have that's the um, brand of case I always had on my uh, Windows surface Face shield instructions, so that's nice. So it says, you know, wear N95 respirator underneath, which I'm curious if they gave us one of those. Um, this is information on my locker combo, so got that. So the last thing we got floating around in here before we get to the laptop is the little strap for the face shield, 
which I'll uh, look at the instructions for clipping that on there. Looks pretty simple. That's not very interesting or exciting, so we're tossing that guy on the ground for now. And so now we've got the actual laptop. So let's open this guy up. There's always something about unboxing things that is so satisfying. Um, and so note that there is a little bit of damage to the package. You don't love to see that. Nice magnetic, and so XPS. Love that nice little branding on the box. And here it is. And give a nice little lift tab. Um, and yeah, so that is tiny. Um, really, really compact. And so it's the XPS 13, the latest generation. So let's see if we can take this off nicely more or less um, okay so here we are wow that is I knew it was gonna be small but that is smaller than expected um, and so open it up um, and so can it do yes so one of the classic things of good engineering is uh, how user-friendly it is in a big thing with laptops is being able to do a one hand open to the hinge. Um, and so we already got it here. And so that opens nice one hand and I'll see if it's for, I show you all, let's make sure that nothing uh, too exciting is showing on the screen and open that up. And so there it is on the open screen. So I do like the narrow bezel. That's actually pretty good. Um, but super disappointing is you can see down in the bottom here, it says Core i5. Um, and so that's depressing because most of what we're gonna be using this for is for Zoom calls. And the last I checked, in order to enable the like 49 participants or whatever it is, whatever the larger setting of that you can have on the grid view at the same time, you need an i7. And I was really pushing to get the i7, especially that I thought we should for this one that we have the option of getting the MacBook Pro 13 inch or the Dell XPS, we could have gotten the i7 in the Dell for the same price as the i5 in the MacBook Pro, but instead we just get the exact same specs. Um, so I think it's 512 uh, gigabyte uh, SSD, 16 gigs of RAM, and uh, the i5 processor, which is the same as we get for the um, MacBook Pro, but we could have definitely, for the same price as that for the Apple, we could have either gotten the like 4K monitor, the touchscreen monitor, or the i7 processor. Um, so that's kind of annoying. And although already here, I notice there is there is some flex to the paneling when I'm I'm lifting it like that. So that's not not sure if that's intentional, which it might be. Um, I'll have to play around with it more, um, but I love that, that already Zoom is opening up, Zoom University, they know it's coming. Um, and I do like the the um, Aramid Fiber, they got, I think, Aramid Fiber right there, um, or at least something that feels textured like that. I'm just basing that off of my phone case has Aramid Fiber on it, um, and it feels similar. Might not be, might be, who knows, but so that's the laptop, very small, and so also in the box, we get just the probably nice instructions and stuff like that. Power brick, which is surprisingly small. Um, that's nice. A USB-C type C male to female USB type A. So that's nice to have. Um, and then a uh, just the power adapter and i assume there's nothing else underneath here you know just good shock absorption and whatnot nice cardboard all that um, which reminds me to check so we do have a uh, aux port we do have uh usb type c usb type c um and then is that a micro uh 
SD card slot. I'm not sure. I'll put up on the screen what that slot is because I actually don't know off the top of my head. Um, so there is the laptop. Now this will be much more boring um, just for opening up a external hard drive. Um, so yeah, nice and small, nothing too special. Um, G drive, a nice instruction manual in a foreign language. Hopefully there's probably one in English, which seemingly is this one in much smaller print has like all the languages. Quick start guide is in English. So, okay, so there is some English. We got that going. Um, and this is, oh, it's got both the type C to type C chord and a type C to type A. So I'll be able to use that type C to type C with the laptop and that's great. Which now that I think about it, I should obviously check that that port that I didn't know what it was um, that's probably a uh, proprietary charger. So let's check that real quick. Um, let's see what. Oh no, they do have a uh, USB Type C charger. So that's that's actually pretty exciting. Okay, so it does does charge with USB Type C, um, and I'll have to look up and see how much more chargers are. Um, which I did have a bunch of Dell Rewards points. In hindsight, I should have saved those Dell Reward points to get another charger for this beast. Okay, here comes the iPad. And so the iPad, I'm excited about um, to use the pencil and try the pencil out. And I think I might be using this as my main way to take notes. Um, but we'll uh, see if I actually end up using it or not. But I am excited. I can use it as a remote control for my phone, which is my camera. Um, and that will definitely make filming slightly easier. Nice steady shake. All right. Apple always nails the packaging. Um, and so yeah, this definitely seems like a rather old iPad based on a very significant bezel around the whole outside. Um, there is still an aux cord fingerprint scanner or aux port, um, one camera, nothing too exciting there. Lightning cable, instruction manual, nice bigger power brick. Always nice to have 50 of those lying around. Um, but yeah, that's uh, pretty much what we got. And uh, I don't know if we'll get a larger like welcome box that I've seen a lot of other medical schools get, but for now, this is what we got. Um, not gonna complain too much, but I'm gonna complain a little bit. Uh, really excited for it, but I guess this means it's real. Medical school is starting soon, Zoom University. Here we come. Um, but yeah, with that being said, that's all I got for you now. Have a good one. Don't be ordinary. Go be great.